Good afternoon, everyone. Nephrogenic systemic fibrosis is a disease that is not very well known to us. In 2006, researchers have found a small connection between concentrations of gadolinium in bones and human body to this disease. Gadolinium is an element that is very toxic to humans, yet it is widely, it is widely used in making a contrast agent for MRI scans. So your doctor could ask you to do a MRI scan, and then will, you'll be injected with an, a, a contrast agent to help enhance the image and then further help them with diagnosis. In my research, my focus is to design a system that is able to measure these concentrations in the human bone. This is done using a technique known as X-ray fluorescence, or XRF for short, shown in this picture. The NEXRF system consists of three main components. First, as we have a radioactive source, also known as the excitation source, which emits radiation, X-ray radiation, constantly. This radiation, we can imagine them as particles or buckets of energy traveling through space. These, uh, these buckets of energy reach to the sample, which contains the gadolinium, which is bone in, in this case. will interact with the gadolinium atoms, make them excited, and then after a very short period of time, they de-excite giving us another photon or another unique bucket of energy. This energy, called the extra F photon or a fluorescence photon, will again travel in space till it reach the third component of the system, which is the radiation detector. In the radiation detector, these counts will be registered as, as counts and energy. So it gives us two information. The first one is number of counts. The second one is energy. Energy is used to identify this element and number of counts is used to determine the concentration in that, uh, in that say, sample. The significance of my research is very significant since, since it will allow us to determine first the connection between the disease and the concentration of gadolinium, also understand the accumulation of gadolinium in bones. Thank you. Thank you.